Every great moment in our history began with a dream. Hello everybody, Rusty Ground here. Welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda. We're here on the Nexus. I said we were... We are going to come over here and have a chat with everybody. Let's see what's in the news here. Uh, Aya Embassy established. An embassy has been established on Aya, making a major diplomatic su success for the initiative. Nexus representatives are now working directly with the Angara to learn more about both the cluster and the Ket. Kadara rival gangs face off. Showdown on Kadara rivals vie for power on the exiled port. After a bitter fight with their collective rivals, the outcasts have now claimed control of Kadara. The collective leader, known as the Charlatan, has now been identified as Reyes Vidal, a notorious smuggler. Vidal is on the run as Kadara security titans under outcast leader Sloan Kelly. Exile port discovered. Nexus exiles find a home as former security are implicated in the mutiny. Um... An investigation revealed Nexus security head Sloan Kelly played a role in the uprising that killed dozens. Initiative authorities tracked the exiles, including Kelly, to Kadara, a desert planet in the Gvorkum system. So I know I didn't really make the right decision uh, with uh, Sloan Kelly between Sloan and uh, and uh, Reyes. Um, and uh, yeah, I don't know. I made the decision on the spot. So uh, yeah, not the best, not my best days, so to say. Uh, Asari Arc found, okay, Nexus Spender caught, okay, so these are basically all the, well, Jesus Christ, that's a lot of stuff. <sighs> okay, it's a lot of stuff that have, has, have happened since we've last been here, so, hello there. Hakeem, Kerry's producer, I'm the one making you look stunning for the documentary. Really? There's a hitch. Kerry's been arrested for conspiracy to incite unrest. What the hell? She's in a cell at the militia headquarters. Any chance you could stop by? A visit from you might shake things up. Okay, Remember, wow. Kerry's down in the militia cells. Yeah, 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 I, I know that. Um, nothing about the uh, Salarian or the Turian arcs. Hmm. It is a little bit unusual. Let me see what... Uh... No, this is the cultural center, sorry, I didn't want to go here. Um... We can see how the scourge perturbs orbital patterns, compresses space. Huh. With acceptable nav upgrades, of course. Pardon me, Miss Anwar. I have some programming to do. Ooh. Dr. Aridana, how's it going? My model of Helios blossoms with data thanks to you. Here, please. You have earned this. Uh, okay. Okay, let's uh, let's get out of here. We can't go into this place. Never mind, never mind then. Okay, so we should go downstairs. And let's see now, what do we have here? Oh, easy does it. Tech lab, okay. Um, yeah, let's go downstairs. And take uh, take the subway. <laughs> and uh, let's see what everybody else has to say. But I, I kind of want to have a chat with Tan. Cryo Bay Habitation Deck. Was it Habitation Deck? Haven't been here in such a long time. I totally forgot my way. We will have to meet with uh, everybody, like, um, in the leadership to talk about Meridian and so on. Let me just see here. Whoops. 
no. PB, what's going on, PB? Nothing? Hey, uh, just hanging out. People in the Nexus recognize me and know I fly with you. Oh, really? I don't like all the staring. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry about that. Can I say we're a little bit of a celebrity around these parts? Because we managed to do some awesome things. Okay. This is clearly not the place to be. So where do we want to be? Docking bay? No. Cryo bay? Operations? That's where we want to be. So when we, when we found the Asari Ark, there was a big thing. You know, when we got to the Nexus, everybody was uh, meeting and greeting the Asari. And now we found both the Salarian and the Turian Arcs and nothing. It's a little bit strange. Let me see here. Where the heck is the... Uh... Oh, it's right here somewhere, right? Yeah, it's right over here. Well, hello there, Carrie. What you doing here? Oh, hey, Ryder. Hey. Hakeem said they arrested you over the documentary. Yeah. Guess I tweaked the lion's tail too hard. Mm-hmm. Time for a jailbreak, maybe? A crowbar, some gum, a nudge from Sam, and I could get you out. <laughs> I'm right here, hero. Trust uh -huh. me, this is safe for the next aisle. You know, they've had other people in the cells. Rioters, people crying and scared. Okay. Me and my truth did that to them. So you're just going to sit there? This is how your work ends? What? No. Hell no. <laughs> Maybe I could use this. Thanks for coming, Ryder. I I'll send word if anything changes. Okay. Well, as long as you're fine in here... I'm okay with everything. Okay, so... Let me see now. Let's go to... Let's see here. Kish. I hear yeah, a Krogan a stirred up some trouble in Kadara port. Yeah, a Krogan. I don't know what you're talking about. Right. <laughs> Nothing more for now. Later. See you later. Um, truck? What's going on? Anything? Seriously, no interaction with truck. Okay. Let's have a chat with Addison here up top. Pathfinder. Nothing. What the hell? Director Addison. Goodbye, Pathfinder. Okay, well, I'm just gonna go directly to Tan then, if uh, nobody else wants to talk to me. I'll just see what he has to say. Surely he has something to say, am I right? Oh, here we go. Hello again. They're waiting for you. Careful. Mm-hmm. Of course you approve. Ryder saved your people. Ryder saved our people. It doesn't matter if they were Salarians. They were citizens of the Initiative. But it doesn't hurt if there's a few less Krogan around, does it? Oh, shit. <clears throat> the Pathfinder. Ryder, we were discussing how things ended with the Archon. Kesh, it's true I had to leave some Krogan behind. I'm sorry about that. You've already done your part for us. That's more than I can say for others. Yet I have to question what we gained provoking the Archon like this. He had a map showing the location of Meridian. Now we have it, and a short window to get there. It's the control oh. center for the terraforming network. If we get that working, all our problems are solved. Okay. Based on what data? This is all alien science. The vault on Aya suggests that Meridian is the key. While I appreciate what you've done for our strike teams, we're not equipped for a war with the cat. They'll be defending Meridian with everything they've got. The fight is coming anyway. If we do nothing, I guarantee there's a fight coming. The Archon's already studying how to exalt us. Mm -hmm. it's and not, not only pretty. us. Everybody. Still, it's better to focus on the outposts. If the Ket attack, at least our people won't be in one place. Then there's this Sam of yours. We took a chance letting AI get involved. Frankly, I'm uncomfortable with just how involved it's become. I'm grateful, Ryder. Hmm. But I can't support your plan. Then really? I will. Hello. And so will I. Nice. 
I agree. Ryder deserves a chance to try. I applaud the gesture, but you answer to me. I hope you understand. Oh. What's the matter, Tan? Don't want anyone else overshadowing you? It's not called the Pathfinder Initiative. The chain of <clears throat> command has to be respected. That is all. Uh-huh. Why am I surprised? I don't exactly have a plan B. There may be a way. Pathfinder, apologies. There was an urgent message for you. They said your sister is awake. Whoa. What? Go. We'll talk later in the tech lab. Okay, that's good, right? Sarah. You lied to me. You said Tad was alive. Oh, Sarah. Sorry, but... Uh, seriously? Why? I didn't know what it might do to you. I couldn't jeopardize your recovery. Yeah, but... Delaying the truth meant I'd be here for you when you heard it. You weren't even awake. You're all that's left, baby brother. Sorry, I know. but two riders are more than enough to take on this galaxy. You got a head start on me. What's this about you being a pathfinder? Hmm. Yeah, Dad's crazy idea of a joke. From the sounds of it, you're going to need all the help you can get. You up for it? Careful. Nah, uh, it doesn't look like it. No way are you fit for duty, miss. That stubborn skull of yours needs a chance to heal. Says who? The Pathfinder. That's who. Time to rest up. That's an order, Specialist Rider. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Pathfinder, sir. That's... that's oh. what I like to hear. Oh, who are we kidding? <laughs> I saw you eat your own boogers when you were six. Oh, if you two okay. want to catch up some more, that's fine. But no getting out of bed. I see. Okay. Ryder, this is Pathfinder Ricks. We have some ideas about Meridian. Come by the tech lab as soon as possible. Gotcha. Will just do. give me a second. Let me just catch up with Sarah for a little hey. bit. You're probably wondering how things have been going. Yeah, feeling a little out of it. I know you're Pathfinder, but not much else. Did they make you president of the universe too? Not yet. Well, the big vote is tomorrow, and I'm here to make sure every comatose patient has their say. Vote Ryder. Ha ha. So what have you really been up to? In a nutshell, we found an alien terraforming network that spans the cluster. We're going to reactivate it at some place called Meridian. Wow. That all? Yeah, that's all. Nope. There's also a race of aliens called Ket that wants to turn all of us into them. And their leader, a guy named Archon, wants me dead. Yeah, I forgot about that. Uh, yeah, true. Right. Maybe taking a long nap wasn't so bad. <laughs> you should know. Dad was keeping some secrets from us. How do you mean? First off, Sam's a lot smarter than he let on. Also, his connection to Dad, and now me, is way more powerful than the other Sam's. I never knew that. What was Dad up to? Uh, well, I've seen some of his memories. Dad encrypted memories in Sam. I've started unlocking them. What were they? You, me, and Mom. You saw her? At that reunion dinner she twisted our arms on. Right. Awkward. <laughs> and something else. Dad meeting with a benefactor back in the Milky Way. Some initiative power broker I'd never heard of. Me either. Weird. Yeah. Still trying to figure out what it all means. I thought maybe we could talk about mom and dad. What about them? Thought you might want to know how dad died. I've been wondering. First planet we landed on. There was an atmosphere processor. It was malfunctioning. Dad managed to power it down. Saved us all. But there was an accident. My helmet broke. I couldn't breathe. And then Dad gave me his. He sacrificed himself. Only one of us could make it. And he didn't hesitate. He was a hero. I remember the stories about Dad being an N7. The things people said he did in the military. I guess it was true. You should have seen him in action. He was incredible. Good. 
That's how I'll remember him then. Good. What do you remember about how they met? As Mom tells it, he was doing his N7 training on Earth. She was a scientist working on biotic implants. He was trying real hard to pull off a bad boy in uniform thing. <laughs> and failing. But she thought it was charming and struck up a conversation. Nice. Dad mostly just grunted. She finally had to ask him out. She Our finally dad, had to ask him out. <laughs> then he went off to fight the first contact war. When that was over, we were born, and Dad was posted to the Citadel as an attaché. What do you remember about Mom's biotic research? That was back when biotic abilities were a total mystery. She was a pioneer, helping people cope by designing implants. It's what made her sick, though. People got all sorts of weird diseases from ESO exposure. Yeah. What do you remember about growing up on the Citadel? Giant space city filled with every kind of alien you could imagine. I remember trying to play hide and seek with some Hanar. It was no <laughs> fair because they could float. Looking back, <laughs> it's probably why I'm here. I saw how mind-bogglingly enormous the universe really is. You have no idea. You still think about mom? When I woke up, I forgot she was dead for a second. I looked around for her. Then I remembered. Dad talked about her before we left on our first mission. He didn't show it, but he never stopped thinking about her. He wasn't the same after she was gone. At least they're together now. Okay. Feeling homesick at all? Well, all I've seen so far is this Met Bay. We could still be on Earth for all I know. But yeah, before we went into stasis, I was missing my life. Or at least, the idea of it. Which part do you miss most? Looking for Prothean artifacts. My team was a special exo-archaeology unit. Fully funded and sanctioned by the Alliance. My job, as in they paid me to do it, was to help dig up more artifacts and learn whatever we could from them. If things hadn't gone sour, it would have been a great life. What was wrong with how things really were? Well, Mom was gone. I'm not sure I'll ever fill the hole she left. And Dad, it hurt him more than he let on. Plus, his research on Sam was illegal as hell. He was trying to save her, and maybe the Initiative looked the other way, but the Alliance didn't. After they discharged him, whenever people found out I was his daughter, door slammed in my face. Being Alec Ryder's kids in the Milky Way, we were in for a lifetime of dreams that were never going to happen. Well, good thing we're here, right? Okay. Well, I should let you rest up. Yeah, only way to recover from a coma is getting more sleep. <laughs> it won't be much longer. <laughs> At least yeah. take some pictures of Meridian for me. I can pretend I was there. Sure thing. I'm glad to see you and your sister back together finally. Thank you. Thanks for helping out. I appreciate you looking out for Sarah. Your family's been through enough. It was time you had some good news. Though we need to keep her around for observation. Give her time to recover. That's all, Harry. Thanks. I'll be here if you need me. Okay. Cool. Now. This is not good. Let's go. Um... Operations, I think, again, right? Yeah. You're listening to HNS, your source for news. It's good that she's up. An independent arm Hopefully she'll arm recover just in time, you know, to see us defeat the Archon. Um... I'm sorry, man. They're just trying to boost our morale. Okay, let me just see here really quickly. The other pathfinders. Wait a second. The other pathfinders are not here. The other pathfinders. Where are the other pathfinders? Discuss. Okay. The other pathfinders might be. Although, no, 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 no. They should be here, right? They should be. Oh, but they're not. Let me see. The other Pathfinders might just be in the... 
In the docking bay? Really? They are right at the exit here, really? Okay. No, they're not. They're up top. Who the heck are they? Oh, I see. Jesus, Tan, chill with Kadara already. Let's see now. Ryder, good to see you. We've been working with Dr. Aradana and her team on the problem of getting to Meridian. Okay. We think we have the answer. I'm listening. It's plans for new technology we've designated Ghost Storm. Okay. When you approach Meridian, our own ships can broadcast fake returns for the Tempest. The cat won't know which one is real. It will confuse their sensors and draw their ships off. Mm -hmm. It could buy you some time. And if it doesn't? Sounds like this has never been tested. What if it doesn't work? You're clever. I'm sure you'll figure something out. This <clears throat> means going Thanks. against the initiative. We're on our own. You didn't hear that. Hear what? <laughs> We've been collating gamma charts all day. It's funny how all the Pathfinders are on our side, but Tan and the rest of the politicians aren't. A risk comes with the job. Part of being a Pathfinder. Yeah, except we haven't been paid. Sure, if they'd pay us once in a while. <laughs> Not likely after this. You'll need to research the Ghost Storm technology first. Then we'll meet you at Meridian. Okay. Good luck. Sounds, uh, sounds good. Large so... Ghost Cat technology appears mimetic, taking designs from different sources to improve their own. It is a familiar pattern. Observe, conquer, incorporate. Cool. I cannot speculate, Professor. Whoa, whoa, we should what, anticipate what, what? the cat learning from and incorporating initiative technology as well. Okay. Um, okay, so integrate the ghost storm technology with the tempest. Oops, sorry, not through here. To help other pathfinders. Um, Uploading we'll, new analyses. Whoa. Okay, we'll do that. But one more thing here. If I go, if I go in here, I believe. No, no. Investigate the crash, crashed kit ships on Aladdin. Huh. This is one is another. Oh, that's it, I guess, right? Stolen turbine, search for Bishop, old Skinner. Uh, okay, overgrown cross-reference genetic markers. Contact direct Director Addison from Havaro, that's okay. Could do that. No, we won't. We're gonna go to Meridian because that's what I want to do. Integrate the Ghost Storm technology with the Tempest. I presume that this means that we need to go back to the Tempest and do something over there. So... Thank you. Let's uh, return to the Tempest. Okay. Ryder, could we chat? Uh, sure thing, man. Ah, there you are. I was wondering, when you found the Solarian Ark, was anything strange, out of place? Um, everything. You mean besides the exalted Krogan, the relics, and getting jabbed in the neck? Why are you asking? Because a few hours ago, we received this. Hello, Ryder. I don't think the Solarian Ark was captured by chance. If you want to know more, meet me at these coordinates. What? That's all. Do you think it's some sort of hoax? <sighs> I don't know. Sounds like it. There are plenty of weirdos that enjoy messing with the Pathfinder. That's what I thought. I'll leave those coordinates in the nav computer in case you want to give this mysterious someone a piece of your mind. Go to the meeting point on Havarl? Okay, we're going to Havar, guys. We have two. Well, we have two missions there, so why not? Let's go to Havarl. Where is it? Right here. 
We also need to contact Edison from here, even though we were we were just on the Nexus, so we could have technically spoken to her, but whatever. If she wants to be contacted from Havaral, I guess we'll contact her from Havaral. Uh, who are we going to take with us here? Yeah, I'm okay with Liam and the Vetra. Okay, let's see now. The meeting point... Oh, it's over here. Okay. And... Just wait a second here. Where do we need to contact... Where is it? Contact... No. Where the heck is it, man? Um... Helios Assignment, Varl, this one. Let's contact Addison. She should be, yeah, contactable right from there. So let's go do that. Contact Virtual Addison. Come on. I think we should head to the vault. Have you sent the update? Is it? No, it's not. What the hell? Communications terminal. Is this it? No. Okay. It's up there. Okay. How the hell do I get up there? Through here, right? Yeah. Okay. The reports didn't do this world justice. It's ethereal. Uh huh. Director Addison, I imagine you have concerns that we haven't placed a full outpost. Frankly, it's impressive you weren't covered in vines on landing. <laughs> Thank Given you. the planet's significance to the Angara, it's appropriate that we assist, but not place an outpost. Mm. And the stability you brought? I received a thank you from Aya. That may be the first time I've heard those words in Andromeda. After the cat and what they've seen of the exiles, we had to be at our best. We've had precious few examples of that. Pathfinder might be getting close. Havaral helps. Outpost or not, we're gaining. We need another, but we're gaining. Although it's probably not enough to draw out one of Dr. Kennedy's trackers, you'll have to look in outpost systems elsewhere. I still need your voice. Something they can think about instead of an outpost flag. Mm -hmm. We're still here, still doing important work. Then tell them that. <laughs> this is Havaral. I didn't find an outpost. I found Angara. And saw a piece of who they are. We're welcome to help here. It's not ours. It's all of ours. I think that makes the whole cluster closer to home. Into the books, Pathfinder. At us now. Okay, Edison. That's it. Right. Now. Uh, this one. Truth and Trespass. Let's go to the meeting spot. Then. Is there anything that will get us closer? Yeah, this thing. Let's go. Enemies. Come on, we don't have to we don't have to engage. Let's just go. What is this now? Okay. Come on, guys. Leave the beasts be. It's stuff like this that makes every. Wait a second. Okay. Everything worthwhile. Whoa. I 
wasn't expecting to see any hostiles in here, but okay. Let's go. What is this now? Collect some nickel. Those are the coordinates we were sent. And that message about the Solarian Ark? Someone will be waiting, one way or another. Damn Whoa. It. Bad guys! Nice. <laughs> There we go. Okay, more. More. Guess this was all a ruse. Let's look around. They Looks like it. Something. Yeah. What is this now? One second. Okay. Boom. From their gear, they were hoping to capture someone. Probably me. Sorry about that. Whoa. Though, if you'd broken a sweat, I'd be sorrier. Salen. You sent us the message about the Solarian Ark? Yes. Major Salen Vaughn, STG. Retired, of course. What's STG? Special Tasks Group. Back home, we were field agents who gathered intelligence I and I know now what STG is, I remember. Mm -hmm. By any means necessary. Even assassination. If you prefer. As I said, these days, I stick with retired... The Solarian N7. Okay. Espionage is a job that follows you home. Or across galaxies. Until there's nothing for it but to grow a conscience. Let's be frank. There are too many inconsistencies aboard our Ark. They only make sense if someone betrayed us to the Ket. My best suspect is a biologist, Dr. Adden. But the evidence is thin. What? I need a pathfinder to verify what I found, or I risk arresting an innocent man. Tell me about this, Dr. Adden. Who's Adden? Why would he betray his Ark? An ex-military biologist from the early wake-up team on our Ark. He claims to be studying the cat. As for why, I intend to ask him. And why are you contacting me and not your Pathfinder? Couldn't Reka help you solve this? I trust Reka implicitly, but I can't say the same for her team. You are obviously trustworthy. If you were involved, you wouldn't have saved our Ark in the first place. Okay. Alright, I'm in. How do we catch your traitor? I only have two leads left. Dr. Adden's equipment and a cat who might be his handler. I need you and your Sam to analyze them. Really? If we show Dr. Adden's in regular contact with a cat, that would prove he's the one. What if the evidence doesn't implicate Adden? If I'm really that rusty, I suppose I'd have to start over from scratch. <laughs> uh, remember Dr. Adden's equipment and his cat contact. This has to be watertight. Good luck. Okay. Scan evidence from Kit Handler on Vold, and then scan Dr. Adam's equipment on Vold. Okay. So... We'll do that, I guess. This is interesting. If the Salarians were betrayed from the inside, that would be... That would suck, to be honest. I mean, seriously now. Whoa, wait a second. No, okay. Um, like that. Okay, so time to go to Vold. Okay, let's see. Where is this... Uh Truth and Trespass is here, and then Scan Dr. Addison's equipment is there. So, let's go to Dr. Addison's equipment really quickly. Because it's right there. That's Tetrix, according to my map. Sure is. And where is his equipment? It's right there somewhere. This must be 
Dr. Adams' workspace. Mm -hmm. The one the STG agent is investigating. What exactly am I looking for? Here we go. Based on Garm's uh, physiological norms, the subject has a compromised immune system weakened by overuse of the town and has contracted a respiratory illness in Garan medical stats. This equipment has been sterilized with a standard radioisotope. There are trace elements of biomaterial that could be consistent with exaltation pods. Really? Or they could be leftovers from Adam's experiments. We should look into the lead about the cat handler. Yep. That's the plan. Just give me a second. Let's go. The cat handler. I don't like this. How was he contacted by the kit? That's what I want to know. If he's in on this, and why would he just betray his... So I ran into Sid the last time we... Shit. She didn't... Was she bothering you? What? No. She just said hi, and that she was busy wrangling some connections. Right. Yeah. She's investigating opening up more communication between Kadara and us. Like, something above... Kit! Let's get a scan. What is? Wait a second. What the hell? There we go. Come on. Right? Not really. Nice one. Okay. What else do we have here? The temperature is falling, Pathfinder. Okay. So I'm reading a normal temperature range, Pathfinder. What do I need to do here? Let me have a look here. Whoopsie daisy. Let's get a scan. This cat has a Milky Way comm device implanted. Whoa. Particle vibration on the transmitter resembles Solarian encryptions. Resembles doesn't prove much. The cat could have found the implant on the Solarian arc. The best leads on Adam's betrayal, and they're both circumstantial. Shit. Can't hang him for that. We could head to the Nexus and ask Reiko about this. Maybe she knows something. Huh. Yes, we could, couldn't we? Okay. Um, I think that's it for now. So, let's go back to the settlement. Huh? To the settlement? What the hell? No. Let's, let's get into the Tempest. Like so. And from here, Old Orbit is steady. Back to the Nexus. Okay, so time to find Reka. Let's uh, let's see. Look at this guy's hairdo. Nice. Reka is. Here? Oh yeah. Got it. Yeah. Hey, Reka. Ryder, always a pleasure. I hear you're assisting Major Salem Varn's investigation into Dr. Adam. You know Salem? I met him once or twice. A remarkable agent, despite his age. 
Unfortunately, my attempts to aid him have stalled. So what do you think of all this? What do you make of Salen's theory that someone betrayed your people? It seems monstrous, but the more I consider it, the more the facts seem to fit. I've tried enlisting ARC leadership, those who woke first, but they've been busy, unhelpful, or both. Perhaps we should get... creative. Now we're talking. Hey, if we don't break the rules, who will? One of the ARC officers who woke early, Rand Lawn, has an apartment here. If he's too busy to help, you could scan around, carefully, see what you can find. Of course. Let's do just that. Search Rand Lawn's apartment. I mean, why not? We, we've searched apartments before, so shouldn't be a problem for us. It's funny how all the apartments that uh, we are interested in are on the same, um, on the same block, <laughs> so to say. Uh, wait a second, what? Yeah, should be, yeah, should be upstairs actually, right? Isn't it? Yeah, it should be upstairs right here. Wait, what? What am I missing? Which one is it? Is it this one? It might be this one. Locked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I may be able to hack this, I'll find out. I, I, I know you can. I know you will be able to, Sam. Don't have a doubt in my mind. And we're in. Definitely the apartment Reka mentioned. Password protected. Little help, Sam? Accessing. It contains financial and personnel reports. However, the EM signature suggests data was recently cleaned. Has it? Interesting. What is this now? Freshly vacuumed. Traces of dust still remain. Based on the Scourge radiation count, they came from a remote world. So Rand Lon, or someone in his apartment, went exploring out there. Hmm. Now, cost-benefit assessment to Rand Lawn from Neost Hearn. Here are the estimates you ask for adjusted for current inflation on the Nexus. MFT 12,000 credits, MTQN 8,000 MMP. Okay, congratulations again on the Pachero safe, Pachero safe return. Uh, invitation to Rand Lawn from Obed Keld. I appreciate even one reply. 12 invites in 12 days have kept me distracted. I hope... Those three junior staff are still accompanying you. It's probably simpler to book space for 12 on the commons and 4 on the mezzanine plus 1 just in case. That that way, if we need one more place, we're prepared. See you on the 18th. And then prescription refill reminder. This is an automated reminder for technical officer Rand Lawn. Your prescription is ready to pick up from medical dispensary number 2. Auto generated by med monitor 6. What am I missing? I am clearly missing something. What was that? What is this? Tell this powder is sold for personal use as well as scientific and military contexts. Whoa. Come on. Boom. It's been watered recently. A single fiber is caught on a leaf. It shows traces of novetamine. A drug? A neurodepressant reported in some Andromeda wildlife. This plant is not one of them. Oh. Whoa. Shit. Uh, what are you doing in my apartment? Whoops. You must be Rand Lon. Yes. You're the one who saved our Ark. What are you doing here? Uh... I'm conducting an investigation about the Solarian Ark. I wanted to check a few things. Ah, I did hear about this. I was too busy to assist. I suppose I'll have to make the time. What do you need? Um... I'd like to ask Dr. Aiden a few questions. Do you know him? Or where he is? Oh yes. Aiden's some sort of biologist. We were among the first to wake up. Difficult times. I haven't seen him since the Ark was rescued. Why Aiden? 
Salen Varn mentioned... Salen? Huh. I see. If the Major's at it again, this makes more sense. Shit. What do you mean? No, I won't spread rumors. You can go, but I wouldn't break into any more homes on Salen's advice. Wait, what? If I've been misled, I should hear these rumors. The Major is brilliant, but he's just been in STG too long. He's been bothering us with conspiracies since he woke up. It's common in retired agents. They can't navigate a world without espionage. I see. Look, let's forget this happened. For the Major's sake. Goodbye, Pathfinder. <laughs> no, we won't. Still got that planet identified, Sam? Really? Yes, Pathfinder. The let's see why point on Aladdin. Huh. Okay. This is getting interesting, I have to say. I'm down to doing a, f a little bit more uh, investigation on this. Hopefully, Aladdin will be the like the final destination.